Hey guys, it's your love back with another video on a Wednesday. <laughs> I'm filming on Wednesday because my videos, I don't think my videos are short. Do you guys think my videos are short? Comment down below. That's why I like to, <laughs> because my I don't think my videos are short. So that's why I like to um, edit them on the same day and then upload them on the same day. Cause they're not really short to me. Maybe like down the road when I make other videos, it's probably gonna be long, but you know, I feel like it's not short. Do you guys do? Comment, you know. <laughs> um, and I didn't really do much today. Just some lipstick again. Um, my earrings. I love these earrings like so much. It's like, it makes you feel royal. Like you're royal. Cause it's like a ruby right there, a ruby red. It's like, it's, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I really like it and I have my necklace and this floral printed shirt from I don't know where and a side bun yeah that's it simple your yeah, girl simple um this video is gonna be about hmm it's gonna be a story time because I love story times like so much I love a good story like if you go on, on my YouTube like you mostly see story times. It's always recommended for me <laughs> every time I go on YouTube because I love story times. I love a good story, you know. Get your apple juice, get your wine. If you order, if you order 21, um, get your <laughs> get your grape juice. Whatever, whatever satisfies your needs, okay? And I'm gonna be calling this story time the time I almost drowned. The reason why I'm yeah. The reason why I'm gonna make this video story time is because I thought about it. Like, what should my next idea be? I'm like, hmm. The time I almost drowned. That's like a crazy story time. So it's like, yeah, like, let me make, you know, this story time because you guys probably wanna see that because just like me, you probably got, you guys probably like story times as well. So, you know, comment down below if you like them and I'll give you more because I got a lot of stories. I have a lot of stories, trust me. Comment down below if you like them. If I hit like at least 20 thumbs up, cause I just started on YouTube, so I'm not expecting to hit like 10,000 th um, thumbs up. But like, if I hit 20 thumbs up, then I'm gonna give you guys another story time. Cause I love telling stories, I love story times, you know, I love it all. And okay, so let's get into the video. All right, <laughs> so, okay, get your wine ready, get your juice ready, get whatever you need, whatever you want, okay, get it ready right now, because it's about to be a good story time, about to be juicy, okay? Okay, so, the story starts off with me. I was, in this story, I'm going to tell you that I was seven years old. I was very young, okay? So, don't be like, why would you do that? That's so stupid. I was seven years old, okay? Okay, I didn't know nothing, okay? So if you get in the if it gets in the um point of time in the story where I'm saying something stupid that I did, don't mind me. I was seven years old, please don't come for me, okay? Do not come for me, please. And I was seven years old, little Fabian, you know, doing her business, you know, whatever. And my brothers, um, they were like watching TV. Now I think I was watching TV with them. I think we was watching Teen Titans that day because we love cartoons. We just love wa watching any type of cartoon, Teen Titans, um, Ninja Turtles. Uh, what's that What's that show? Um, Jimmy Neutron, we love watching all of that. Johnny Tess, all of that. That's, that, were our, that's, that was our childhood. That still is our childhood. We love watching that. I, could, I still love watching it to, the, to this day. Like I still watch SpongeBob, like who cares? Like. So it's Spongebob. Spongebob is lit, okay? Okay? If you don't know if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you live under a rock. I'm sorry. You live under a rock. Okay, back into the story. Okay, so it was just me, little Fabian, and my two brothers. Let's name them my older brother, my oldest one is his name is Steven. And my second the middle child is McKenson. That's my mom made three children, you know? So the beginning is Steven, then it's McKenzie, then it's Little Fabian. <laughs> I was the last one, okay? 
so we were just sitting being bored you know watching teen Titans. we was bored this is saturday because people do stuff on saturday like go out have fun but we were just sitting in the house you know watching teen Titans. that's kind of boring i want to do something fun you know so um my my cousin let's just call him stefan so he hit he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sounding ghetto. I'm sorry. He called my um my older brother St um Steven and he was like It's boring. It's Saturday. So like let's go chill. Let's go have some fun. Let's go to my aunt Let's call my auntie Riaz Riaz So cuz my, my auntie house is like fun. It's, she lives in an apartment, but the apartment is so beautiful. It looks so luxurious, you know and she, at that time she lived with her brother i don't know you know not her brother her boyfriend um they broke up but you know that's later um so yeah it's like always fun and it looks so pretty every time you walk in you just feel like you you the ish you know because it's like the apartment was so beautiful and behind the apartment is the pool and behind the pool is the beach but that beach has some strong currents. Like, nah, I stay my I stay my behind in the pool. I ain't going down there. I'm not trying to drown. But <laughs> I did drown, but I wasn't trying to drown at that time before. So um we will go to um the apartment and it'll be so fun because she'll always have she'll always have food for us. Sometimes she'll have food, so she'll just like order pizza. But it'll always be fun. And after, when we order pizza, we would just eat and watch a scary movie. Then some of us will go out to the pool. Some of us will stay in an apartment, you know, you know, play some video games or whatever. And then the rest, out, the other people that went down to the pool, they will come back to the apartment to watch some more scary movies. And this time we'll be eating snacks. Like, not like typical snacks like Doritos or hot chips. Like, those snacks like donuts, Twinkies, um, Hershey's. What else? Popcorn, juice, those big bottles of sodas, you know, big bottles of chips, the snacks, the real snacks. So it will always be fun. They always have good food. Like, why not? And it's, it's, it's it will be always a good time. Cause when you hang around with family, it's like no matter what you're doing, it's always a good time. Cause you always have that special bond with that person. And even though that's nothing to talk about, you always find something to talk about because that's how close you guys are. So it was um, me. Every time we will go, it will always be me, Lil Fabian, um, Steven, my big brother, McKenton, my older brother, but younger than Steven, um, my cousin, um, Stevon, Stevon, Stefan, whatever, and his three three sisters so he has two three sisters both of them are twins well, two of them are twins and the other is just like the youngest of them all so it was just be like all eight or nine of us I don't know but yeah it will, it will always be a good time so okay let me get further into the video <laughs> okay so Steven was like yeah let's go cuz it's boring you know let's just go so Steven came came to me. He was like, you know, get ready, get your bathing suit or whatever. Um, we're gonna go to Aunt Auntie Rhea's house. And it was I was like so happy. Like outside I ain't sure, but inside I was screaming because like it was so boring. And I can go to the pool. <laughs> I was screaming. I was like, ah, we about to go, we about to be lit. So after like an hour or so, he picked us up. And what I used to do is when I get ready, if I knew I was going to the pool after. I would put like a bathing suit under my shirt, under what, whatever clothes I was wearing. So it's like I wouldn't have to bring my bathing suit in a separate bag, it would just be on me. So like when it will be time to go to the pool or the beach, I just take off the clothes on top and then put on my bathing suit. Cause I don't want to like take, it, take off my clothes and put on my bathing suit. I just want it to be under there so I could just get ready and just go and just leave, you know? So that's what I did. I brought, hmm, what did I bring? I think I brought my comb too, cause sometimes when um, I was with my other cousins, they'll do my hair. You know, you know, it's 
it's <laughs> it's it's what we do it's what black people do you know that they cousins do the little girl's hair or whatever you know <laughs> and yeah so i brought my comb i brought some extra shoes just in case not extra shoes extra flip-flops just in case you know my other shoes get dirty because I was gonna get the pool. I don't want my other shoes to be wet, not to walk around with those wet shoes the whole day while I'm at the um the apartment. Like nah, so I brought my comb and my shoes, and my bathing suit was under, so I was good. I was underneath. So okay, he picked us up, and then we left, and then it took like mm, 15 minutes to get to the apartment, but it was fun because he had because my cousin. He had on the music, so it was like it was like those old jams, you know, like Chris Brown without you, um, Mary J. Blige. Oh gosh, I miss those old times. Those are the OGs. Like yes, I love those. I still have those music on my phone, cause yes, and so it was fun. And then we got there, and every time, cause I don't go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I went there often. It's just like every three months I'll go there. Like, it was boring, he would just be like, my cousin would just be like, hey, let's just go, you know, slide out. My mom would be okay with it, because it's our cousin, like, she ain't gonna say nothing. So, yeah, when we got there, it's just like, I just kept on looking at it. Because my, my cousin, he had this car, like, three seats in the back, and not three seats in the bike, it's just like, a whole row of seats, and then two seats, the passenger and the um, driver's seat, so... He sat in the driver's seat, nobody's, I think it's one of his sisters sat in the passenger seat. And it was me and my brothers in the back. I just sat in the, um, the little baby seat, just in the middle, because I was small and I was the youngest. So I had to do that. I couldn't argue with nobody. I just, I just had to. So, yeah. And like, <laughs> if you see me, I was like just staring. Like, my cousin was going to park this way. He was going that way. And I was just like this. I was just staring at the apartment. It was so huge like that was goals like i don't want to live in an apartment like that it was just so beautiful like uh it's like miami like <laughs> miami hotels you know those my miami hotels i'd be like it was just so beautiful like damn auntie reyes where you get this money from to go live there like <laughs> take me with you so yeah um i'm just staring at the thing like mouth drilling and everything like and then we got the car and i'm still staring like i'm like the thing was like long the width of it was like long and it was like so tall so i'm just staring staring at the top staring at the door staring at the apartments you know my eyes just my eyes just gazing every everywhere you know so and then i'm so happy we get inside and we see this man he's like okay um what apartment number are you going to? And we tell him the apartment number. I didn't know, but my cousin knew because he goes there more often and he knows my auntie Reyes better than like we do. So he knew what number we was going to. So he just, so yeah, he was like, he buzzed in the thing and he was like, okay, Miss Reyes, um, you got some kids here for you? And she was like, you can hear it through the buzzer. She was like, okay, okay, send them up, please. And then she was like, okay, go up to the um, elevator thing, whatever, and just go up, you know? But he already knew. The um, man didn't have to tell him. My cousin already knew where to go because, like I said, he knows Auntie Reyes better. So we went up there, and I'm, I'm like, literally, like, freaking ecstatic inside. Like, my face is calm. I'm like, yeah, whatever, like, yeah, I'm looking at things like whatever, yeah. But inside, I'm like, oh my gosh. Because I know it's going to be lit. Every time we see her, it's always lit. It's always a fun time. You're always happy. You can't you can't just like go in there like, there's never going to be a dull moment. You're just always happy to be there. Like you with your friends, with your cousins. You see them for the first time. You go to the pool. You're watching scary movies. watching eating Twinkies. Like, what is not fun about that? And you with your family members. You're, you're bonding. Like... What is not ta fun about that? What is not happy about that? So, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we um we got up we got up to the um second um floor. That's where her apartment was, and we was just walking around, and like it was like a long freaking walk. That's how you know 
that apartment building is so big because it was like a long walk to get to your apartment it was like a mile like freaking for real like bruh that's how you know it's so big and so we got there and then my auntie opened the door looking pretty as ever because she always pretty auntie Reyes. yeah yes <laughs> so she's uh she's so she's just beautiful like uh I want, I want to be here okay so she was just she's opened the door she was like so happy to see us like hey and then she see me she's like hey baby what you doing i haven't seen you in a while we're great you in blah 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 how you doing how was school you and your homework you know they always ask you that they always ask you that to see if, to see if you actually still doing what you gotta do okay because you're a kid so they like the only thing you should be wearing about is school and you know homework so yeah and I was like, everything's good, blah, blah, school's good, you know, I'm in great this, blah, blah. And so, and then, <laughs> we walk in, and then we seen, it was like a table, like, right there. Like, it was, the apartment, bu the apartment building is so big. Let me see if I can, like, make you, like, vision <laughs> the apartment, because it was, like, huge. I'm just, like, okay. So, there was, like, this big dining room table, like, right there. Like, as soon as you walk in, you see a big dining room table, like, right there. Like, six chairs on each side of it. And then there was, like, this exercise machine. It was, like, a, kind of like a bicycle, bicycle thing. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and it was right there behind the dining room table. And then, furthermore, is this huge, like, U-shaped couch I wouldn't say you shape it was just like long and the, and the ends were like curved like one part of it you could like lay down the end of it on the left side and then in front of that was this big I swear to you it was the biggest TV I've ever seen in my life it's basically a mini theater screen like those theater like the movie theaters it's basically one of those mini things it was huge like the biggest tv i ever seen in my life like i'm staring at it like should i actually watch tv because it's that big it might hurt my eyes she's like should i actually watch tv hmm. i was like damn and then my auntie Rhea, she has she had a son and let's just call this dude uh a molly a molly um, he was like 15 at that time so and then he was like i think I, I heard a shower running so i think he was still taking a bath or whatever so we just got inside and then she started she said that she was gonna order some pizza because you know it was saturday i don't think she wanted to cook like who wants to cook on a saturday so she was actually gonna order some pizza um what you guys want she asked us what we eat what we each wanted so some of us said like the usual pepperoni some of us said cheese some of us said you know other stuff i don't remember so she just ordered like two pizzas both of them had like like the sides were like half this half that if you if you wanted um cheese and somebody else wanted pepperoni she'll order like half cheese half pepperoni and then the other side will, and then the other pizza will be like the same but with different toppings so yeah she ordered that and that thing came out like literally 10 minutes later like it was came so fast like i couldn't believe it because every time i order pizza it comes like at least an hour later so i don't know i don't know something suspect about that something is suspect okay <laughs> so yeah and then we she just turned on a scary movie i forgot what the scary movie was called but there's this one scene i still remember it to this day it, it freaked me the the freaking out okay it freaked me out okay it was this scene when um, he was a detective and this murderer slash killer, he put him in this toolbox thingy. And he's, but the thing was, the, the detective wasn't dressed. He was just wearing like boxers, kind of, sort of. And so he filled the tube up with the detective inside it. And it was just kind of, um, hydro I don't know what it's called but it like it was like this yellow liquid and it peeled his skin off and like the another detective was um he was calling another detective to show them like this is what I'm doing to your colleague you know like you better he was, um, 
tell him like, okay, if you don't do this, if you don't listen to my instructions, I'm gonna, he's gonna die in like five minutes or so. Cause like the, the thing was actually peeling off his skin and he was like screaming in pain. So he was trying to like, while he was on a call with them, the police were trying to like um, find out where his location was so they could find the detective and like kind of and save him before he dies. Cause it was freaking crazy. And like, <laughs> I, I will still remember that, that scene to like the day I died. Cause if I could still remember that scene nine years later, I think it will stay in my, in my mind forever. Like it was, it was terrifying a little bit, okay? So then, yeah, that was the movie. <laughs> so and then they asked us, okay, um, who wants to go to the pool? And then it was mostly the guys that wanted to go to, go to the pool. Like it was only me and the guys that wanted to go. And the girls didn't want to, they just want to stay inside. Cause no girls, they like to, you know, stay inside. You know, they don't really want to get their hair wet or whatever, you know, it's black girls. So, so all the other girls stay inside. My, my three cousins, the girls, they stay inside. The, my auntie stay inside. So just all the boys, all the boys, but one girl, me, me. I was the only girl. I'm, I was like, should I go? Cause like none of the girls were like saying they want to go. So I was like, should I go? But you know what? I was like, I just want to have fun. So I'm gonna go anyways. I don't care if it's just, if I'm the only girl, I'm just go anyways. Cause I just want to go to the pool. So and then we went, okay. And then we saw this other, these other, um, it was a mom and a daughter. They was like having fun. The mom was like sitting down, watching her daughter swim, do laps in the pool or whatever. So, I was like, okay, okay, I got a friend, I got a friend now, but that's my age, she looked my age, she looked like she was eight, like a year older than me, but she was close to my age, so I was like, okay, I'm about to make my friend, because you know, I ain't have like a lot of friends, I know it's sad to say, I did not have a lot of friends, because I was like, weird, and I'm still weird, okay, I'm still weird, and I'm fine with it, I'm okay with it, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm normal, you know, sometimes I can be normal if I want to, but yeah, so I don't really have a lot of friends, so like, I was like, okay, that was little Fabian, okay, that was me, so, so then the boys, two of the boys started jumping in, and that was my cousin, um, Stefan, he wanted to be a show off, because he could swim, so he like dived in, like, I'm black, I don't know how to swim, okay, I'm black. <laughs> So he like dived in, like, okay, stop showing off, we see you, okay, okay. And then like the other ones, they just sat by the end. They didn't really wanna go to the pool, they just wanted to go because their friends were going, so like they got somebody to talk to because they didn't wanna stay with the girls. So, so two of them diving those in the pool. And when they told us who wanna go to the pool, I was already like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. So like I just took off, I just went to like the bathroom and I took off my, um pants that was on my bathing suit and my shirt that was on my bathing suit <laughs> and it was a one piece I I don't wear a two piece like that I don't like show my body like that I don't like that so I just wear a one piece and I was a kid so it was like yeah like I don't really care so yeah they they jumped in they didn't really care about the other people that was there they just they didn't care they just wanted to have some fun so and then I seen the girl and she was like hey she came to me. I was, she was like, hey. And I was like, hi. She's like, what's your name? My name is Fabian. You know, how old are you? I'm seven. Uh, and I was asking her, how old are you? And she was like, hey. Um, you know, my li I'm trying to do my little, you know, Fabian voice. The voice that I had when I was younger. Like, and she, and we just started talking, like, about random stuff. You know, school. You know, how, I don't know. I forgot what we was talking about. We was probably talking about candy and lollipops. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly. So, yeah, she was like, and it got to the point where she just like started jumping in a pool. So, I was like, she makes it look so easy. And at that time, after that, she was like, we was like kind of cordial. So, I was like, okay, we gonna be like besties. I was thinking that in my head. That's what I was thinking. We gonna be besties or whatever. And so... I wanted to jump in too because she make she make it look so easy, you know? Like she just jumped in like damn girl. Like who are you? Like the female Michael Phelps? The the little kid in making? 
I don't know. And she jumped in. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to jump in too. So I jump in, right? And like the pool is like a circle. And the, the middle part is like deep. Once you get to the middle part, you're going to feel the water rising like up to your chin. Like for me, the water is like right here. So if I got to the middle part, I would feel it rising up right here. And so, <laughs> and so, um, she jumped in and she started swimming towards the middle and she made it towards like the end. So, I'm thinking maybe I could do it too. And she was about to leave though, but so I was like, let me show off. If she can do it, I can do it too. So I jumped in. The middle part was okay, so because I hung on to the um the railing thing, you know the steps when you get inside the pool. I hung on to those for like a few seconds. And I'm like, okay, let me just do this, okay, to prove that to prove her to her. So I started swimming in deep. Now I got to the middle part, and I felt the water rising, but I was like, okay, I can still make it. I can still make. It. I can still go. So <laughs> I got to the middle part. And I felt myself, I felt like the water was pulling me down. That's how I felt, because I was like small. I had like a little body, so I felt like the water was actually pulling me down. I was like scared. I was panicking. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And it's like, I, I can't scream, because like, I feel like if I, if I scream, the water's going to go in my mouth. And like, I didn't want to scream. I didn't want to like... I didn't want to like drink the salty water, like, ugh. So I was just like, okay, just swim, just swim, it's okay. And I didn't know how to swim. I'm like, I'm like flapping like this. <laughs> I'm flapping. <laughs> and I'm kicking my legs. So like, I'm going up and then I'm going back down. I'm going up, then I'm going back down. Because every time I kick my legs, I see myself going up and I stop. Because I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm already up. So I don't have to swim no more because I'm already up. But I kept on going down. And I'm kicking up again and I'm going up and I'm falling down every time I stop so like okay what am I gonna do I can't do nothing so I keep still doing it not knowing what to do my stupid self not knowing what to do so then I just say you know what I'm like this like with my hand so like hopefully my brothers will see me and they talking on a chair and I see them like talking on a chair like my eyes like the water's right here but I could see them talking on the chair so I'm flapping my hand like this now I'm flapping the water and then finally, <laughs> the, um, my cousin, he's like, whoa, look at that. That's not five and drowning. And then he was like, oh, but they curious. He was like, oh, you know? And then um, the one that's, that's the show off, the one cousin that's the show off, he jumps in. But I'm like, okay, you know what? Show off all you want to. I just want to be saved. I just want to be rescued. I don't want to be in this water no more. I'm done. I'm done. I just want to be saved. And then so he jumped in and my other brother jumped in. The, uh, Steven, I think Steven jumped in. I don't remember. I was young. So, um, my cousin took me, um, he grabbed me, and then he pulled me to the, um, the side of the pole where the railing was so I could just hang on to it and I wouldn't need his help anymore. So, I hanged on to him. I grabbed it, and then I walked up, and then I just, I think somebody picked me up. I don't know, because I, after a while, I just, I just remember being sat down on the chair like I don't know I don't know how I got down if I walked I don't know if somebody picked me up I just remember being sat down on a chair and it and I had the towel and my hair was wet it was soaking when my hair was dripping water all over me I'm like I can't even see cuz my water still in my eyes and by that time like I said I didn't want to drink no water but in that by that time I drank like two like cups of water cuz I was like every time I was tapping up and I was trying to scream and like some of the water went up and I had to drink it. <laughs> like I did drink it. I did drink it. No joke. I drank it. It was like cool. It tastes so disgusting. It tastes like feet and salt. It tastes so disgusting. And when I drink it, I feel like I want to survive. I was like, you know what, Fabian? You got to get up. You got to come to safety. And every time I try to scream, it'll just keep water just keep coming back in my mouth. I'm like, okay, let me not just scream. That's when I started doing this, like I said. So when I was sitting down, it was like, um, why did you go to the middle? And then one of my brothers was like, that's so stupid. He was like ranking me and stuff. <laughs> like I know it's stupid. I just wanted to like prove that I can do it too. You know? She's like, 
and my cousin's like you okay we need anything blah blah you know the usual questions and my brother was still like that's so stupid why'd you do that you know you can't swim why'd you go to the middle and i was like listen man <laughs> I was like, listen, man, I'm dumb. I'm seven years old. You knew I was going to do something stupid like that. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone, okay? The situation is over. I'm here. I'm saved. Okay, leave me alone. So, after that, a few, um, a few minutes later, the girl came back to me. She was like, are you okay? Are you okay? What's wrong? Are you, are, um, I saw you mm, drowning. Like, are you okay now? And I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And she was like, okay, um, well, I have to go now. You know, her little um, sweet voice. I have to go now. And my mom is waiting for me. And I was like, okay, bye. But, like, I was hoping she was going to give me her number or something like that. Or something to contact her or something. But I didn't even have a phone. What was I thinking? You know, I'm young. I was, I didn't even have a phone. Like, uh. Yeah, she was like, I got to go. And I was like... I didn't show it, but inside I was sad because she was like the only girl that was my age and I feel like I could relate to her because she was my age and she was a girl. So I was like, I was like sad. Like, what am I going to do when she leaves and I can't go back inside because they know I drowned. So they ain't going to let me go inside the water. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I just had to sit and wait. And I couldn't even go upstairs to the apartment. Um, and I, Yeah, I know you're thinking, guys, like, why she, why ain't you just go back upstairs with other girls? And I couldn't do that because I was seven years old. And like I said, the apartment was big, so I might get lost. So I had to wait for my brothers to finish doing, having their fun. And then I, to, I can go up. So, and then I just stayed sitting down on that beach chair with my towel, cold as hell. Because after six o'clock, like, the water starts to get cold a little bit. And, like, the wind was, like, blowing a lot. It was, like, blowing back and forth. And I started to get cold. And I was freezing, so they said, okay, it's getting cold, the water getting cold, it's not feeling good no more, let's just go. And that was after an hour the incident happened, you guys. Like, that was after an hour, like, so I had to sit there for an hour doing nothing, watching them swim, having fun. And yeah. Sad. So, yeah, and then we went up, and then they told, like, I was, like, so mad. They told them the story about me drowning. And everybody was just laughing. Some people went up to me like, Amali, my um, my aunt's um, son, he came up to me. He was like, you okay? Whatever, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I just want you to stop asking me that. Please, please stop asking me that. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And they just kept laughing at me like, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, don't to my mom. Don't to my mom. Okay. So, yeah, and then we got our snacks, we got our Twinkies, we got our donuts. The kitchen was beautiful. It was small. That was the only thing small in the apartment. And it was, like, beautiful, like, foot. The kitchen had this opening. It wasn't really an opening. It was, like, like closet doors. Like, that was the kitchen opening. You just slide the closet door, and then you enter the kitchen. That was so cool. At that time, I thought it was so cool because I never seen something like that. I was, like, young. I never seen nothing like that in my life, so I'm like, damn. What else does this cool apartment have, you know? Like, there's nothing else to convince me that I want to live here. Um, I think they put it on this, I forgot what, what scary movie, because we always watching scary movies at that, um, at her house, so I forgot what scary movie they put it on next. But I knew I just had, I just had my popcorn. And some of the pigs were still there, some of the wings, because she ordered, like, pigs and then she ordered some size. She, that, the size were barbecue, um, barbecue wings. So, at when it was six o'clock, the boys just just decided, you know, let's like go up to the balcony because on the balcony, yeah, it had a balcony, like, yeah, and they already had chairs up there, and so they was like, let's just go eat up the balcony, you know, they guys, guys and be guys, you know, be with the guys, the girls with the girls. So they went up, and then they had the um the chicken wings that they saved from eating the pizza and they had like other snacks you know whatever you know and i want to see what they they was doing i was nosy okay i want to see what they was doing what they was talking about so then, <laughs> so my my young self i went up to the balcony and like to go up to the balcony there's, there's the slider thing the slider window everybody had everybody knows that there's the slider window 
So now just looking through the window like, <laughs> they saw me. They saw me, they was like, all their faces were like, <laughs> cause I was nosy. I just wanted to see what people were doing. Not, not to like tell the people about it, just to see. I, I was just nosy. I wanted to know. <laughs> I just, I was just staring at them. And then one of the one of my brothers, um, Mackenzie, he got up. And he opened the door. He's like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "Nothing." He's like, "Stop." He was like, "Stop, stop. Don't do that anymore." No <laughs> I was like, "Okay." So he went back down to go sit down. I was just like, "Okay, let me not bother them." Guys and be guys. I would just go get my food and we watch the scary movies, us girls. Cause you know, us girls be lit too. So it's okay. It's okay. I don't gotta be over there. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> so and then we went. Um, we went to go watch a movie. I had my. There was a lot of snacks in their um cabinets, guys. Like mind you, a lot of snacks. They had Twinkies, donuts. They had they had the powdery white donuts and they had the chocolate donuts. Like. Wow. But I ain't mind. They had the they had the big sodas. They had these big sun chips and I love sun chips a lot. Those like are my those are my like favorite chips out of all time. Sun chips, the blue ones. Mostly all of them. Like I just don't like the cheesy one. But I like all of them. So I had the sun chips, the um and the donuts and the um soda. So we sat down and some of the girls, the older girls, cause the, my cousins, you know, cousin um Stefan and the sisters, they were just talking with my auntie because you know they older, so like they, I would, it was me talking with them, it would just be like Barbie dolls and stuff, but they was older, so they just like sat apart from me, like on the dining table, and they started talking. And I was just like the only one sitting by the TV watching the scary movie, basically. Like they turned it on for all of us to watch, but it was only me watching it, basically. So I was like, okay. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna be scared even though I don't like watching movies but scary movies by myself I'm gonna just I'm okay. I'm still okay because you know, they're still behind me, you know, so I was okay I, I didn't mind it. So I watched it and Yeah, so after that It was like because like every time we go to Aunt Aunt Reyes house We always like go there in like the morning and we always come back at midnight like, we'd be staying there till, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. But it'd be fine, because, like, who wouldn't want to go to your house? Like I said, it's always fun. You can It can never be a dull moment. You're always happy. You're always laughing. You're always joking around. It's just fun. And they got a lot of food, so I'm going to just stack up on their food. I'm going to just, you know, be fat and eat everything. So, <sighs> it was not, to, was not to love. So, yeah, we stayed there. And after the scary movie was over, we just watched cartoons. And we still kept eating. I still kept getting fat. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, and then, sad to say, it reached 1 o'clock, and we had to leave. <sighs> yeah, we had to leave. So, we got our things, sadly. I got my comb. They didn't do my hair that day, because, you know, it was a fun day, so I... It, the reason why I bought the comb is because like maybe they'll want to do it or if they didn't then it'll, it'll still be okay because it's just a fun day I'm, I didn't really care about doing my hair it was just like maybe if you want to do it if you want to do it you can do it if you don't it's whatever so I didn't do my hair that day but I still bought it so I got my comb I got my other shoes my shoes I was wet from the beach from the um from the pool and two ass sleeves but it was lit, okay? Not just too bad that lit. The the lit couldn't last long. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? So yeah, it was fun. Even though I drowned. And then we got home. My mom was already sleeping because it was fun. She had to go to the work. She had to go to work um the next day. So she was sleeping. And then we just got there. And then we went to sleep basically. But guys, that was the time I almost drowned i was scared like when i was drowning i was literally thinking to myself god is this it like i was scared for like that one moment i felt like tears like even though i was underwater i could i could feel like warm tears going down my cheeks and like slowly going away because the the pool water was just like 
you know mixing with it so it was like I couldn't feel the warm water anymore going down my cheeks I was like I was scared though I was scared like is this it seven years of my life is this it am I never gonna see my like adult years is this it man and if it was it I'd be like God okay this has been this has been a good life you know so okay I understand I was scared okay I didn't see my no people like have a near death experience they like they say that they see their whole life flash be um, ahead of them I didn't see that I was just scared so <laughs> I was just scared so I was flapping and I was flapping like yeah, I was kicking I was kicking I was kicking so I don't you know drown you know and yeah guys that was the time I almost drowned I didn't want it to happen but dang and I have more story times for you like I said if you guys want to see more story times give this video 20 thumbs up 20 thumbs thumbs this 20 thumbs up okay and you know the deal subscribe comment like hit that share button um hit that notify button I know how to say it yeah I know you guys see that I know you guys see that so yeah that was the time I almost jumped Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for clicking on my video. The guys, the people who did that. Thank you. Um, and see you next time. Love you. <laughs>